Hi, today we've got another product from AliExpress to review. So the big cardboard box, and on the side it says H53A series preheat soldering station. That's what it looks like in the box. Power cable. Use a manual, the device itself, and a bit of packing foam. There's a packet of four grub screws, that's obviously for the board holder. And that's it simple to set up so on the front of the heater you have your power on off you obviously have a dial here to set up your temps a button to obviously display actual temperature and you can obviously set what temperature you want to get to so preheating station why do you need it when working on boards that are quite thick like this graphics card even with hot air without evenly heating up the board when you are removing components the board might warp it might be difficult to get the components off to rework the components so a preheating station allows you to set a temperature heat the whole board evenly and then when you come to rework some of those components it's a much easier job Okay, so let's clamp this board down and let's see if we can preheat this board to 100 degrees Celsius. And let's see how accurate the settings are and how long it takes to get up to temp. Okay, so I've got the preheater set up on 100 degrees. I've set up a temperature gauge for you guys on the multimeter over there. Here is the sensor for the multimeter. I've had it on for a couple of minutes now. Obviously 100 degrees probably is the temperature of the element itself. We can also get the thermal camera on there, just double confirm. So as you can see the thermal camera when it's looking through the holes in the board, it is hitting 100 degrees and it's showing the board at about 48 degrees. So about four degrees difference from the multimeter. Right, so let's set the preheater to 200 degrees.
the board is showing around the 80 degree mark let's set the temperature to 250 celsius Okay, there we go we've hit the 250 and as we can see the board is getting to that 100 degree celsius so if i want to preheat the board to 100 degrees before i start working on the board i'll set up this preheating station to 250 and the board is showing around 100 degrees My element is still showing 176 but it might be this i think it's the setting of the thermal camera the resolution start with this big current sense resistor here and there you go Okay, so that's uh, quite a big, that's obviously a current sense resistor there. It came off pretty easy. Without a preheating station, you would have had to have heated up that whole area. Maybe done some damage to this RAM chip here. Right, I've set the station back down to 100 degrees Celsius. So what we can do is slowly bring the temp down. We want to avoid the rapid calling.
so this is the actual temp and as you can see it's just slowly falling and then when it gets to 100 degrees it will maintain that level and then I can turn it down again to say 50 degrees for a few minutes and then I'll turn it off that allows the board to slowly cool down Okay, so after 20-25 minutes, it cooled down enough to be able to touch the board. I'm quite happy with that. So there we go. There's my little simple preheating station from AliExpress. Didn't cost too much obviously it's not the top of the range but for what i do it will get the job done i'll leave a link for this preheating station as well as any other tools i use in this video i'll also leave some discount codes for all products on aliexpress as always thanks for watching remember there's always a fix and i'll see you in the next one